All right, so I was going to make this amazing video that would have dropped your averages by like 20 seconds or more. However, you guys made it clear to me through about 20 comments and 50 private messages that you really want a Tulak PLL video. So therefore, I abandoned the original idea, and I'll tell you how to do the Tulak PLL instead. Okay, so the Tulak PLL is really just a way of doing the Frigic PLL, but in two looks or two steps. As you hopefully know, the Frigic PLL moves the cubies on the last layer around the cube after they are all oriented. So like here, they're all yellow. Anyway, so I'll now describe a process by which you can always solve your PLL case in two algorithms. Obviously, this technique is slower than the full PLL, where you would only need to apply a single algorithm, but you only have to remember six cases as opposed to all 21 cases. And at least three of those cases you already probably know. So the first algorithm you need to know is the clockwise corner cycle. So at least this corner alone, hold it like this, and you go x, r prime, u, r prime, d2, r, u prime, r prime, d2, r2. The next algorithm you need to know is the clockwise edge cycle. It leaves this edge alone, rotates these clockwise, hold like so, r2, u, r, u, r prime, u prime, r prime, u prime, r prime, u, r prime. Okay, you need to know the counterclockwise edge cycle as well. It leaves this edge alone. R, U prime, R, U, R, U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R2. Okay, we are now getting to the algorithms that you may not know. The edge permutation swaps these two and these two. M2, U, M2, U2, M2, U, M2. And I'm doing the M's with my fingers like that. Okay, we had a very similar looking Z permutation. Swap these to these two, hold like so. M2 U, M2 U, M prime U2, M2 U2, M prime U2. And finally, we, we have the E permutation. It swaps these two and these two. Hold it like this, X prime, R U prime R prime D, R U R prime, small U2, R prime U R D, R prime U prime R. Okay, now that the boring stuff is out of the way, we can get to the fun. I'll show you how to use those six algorithms to solve any PLL that you can run into. So here we have a PLL. What you're going to do is you're going to try to find two similar color stickers on these two positions. So red, green, do not match. Orange, red, do not match. Green, orange, do not match. Blue and blue, match. Put those two that match in the back and do the first algorithm that I showed you, the corner three cycle clockwise. So we do x, r prime u, r prime, d2, r, u prime, r prime, d2, r2. After you do this, you are guaranteed to run into one of the six algorithms that I already showed you. So this is the edge cycle clockwise. I showed you how to show how to solve it. And uh, that's it, two algorithms. Okay, there's only one catch. It may happen that you do not find matching sticker colors on these dispositions. In that case, just hold the cube in any way you like and apply the E permutation that swaps these two corners and these two. I showed it to you, it was one of the six algorithms. X prime, R, U prime, R prime, D, R, U, R prime, small u2, R prime, U, R, D, R prime, U prime, R. Once again, you are guaranteed to run into one of the six algorithms that I showed you. To solve this one, I showed you how to do it. And uh, that's it. Lastly, for the sake of completeness, I'm going to mention that if all your stickers here match, that's because all the corners are already solved. And you know all the possible edge cases. So uh, in that case, it's only one single algorithm. OK, that's all there is to know about the Tulak PLL. Those six cases will guarantee that you solve the entire PLL in two fast algorithms. I hope I did not discourage you from learning the full PLL. I cannot stress enough that the Tulak PLL should only be viewed as a temporary stage. You really want to learn those PLLs for two reasons. A. About 15 of them are really easy. And B. They will speed you up. So uh, that's it for now. Bye bye.